Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate. If a message isn't for you, leave it for someone else. You can check your other signs or check back next time. I felt called to jump on here and give you a their feelings reading. Let's see. Okay, you don't know how hard it is to let you go, and I'm afraid to contact you. That's too many, but I have, you were the best thing in my life. I wish we could go back. I am recovering. Okay. And then we have, I don't know how to feel. So Sagittarius, there's someone here you're not speaking with and they are afraid to contact you. They're not quite sure how they feel about the situation. However, there is one thing they know for sure is they're unable to fully let this go. What happened here? Seven of Wands. Somebody pushed you away. It's very interesting to me when I'm reading these energies of somebody here that pushed you away, yet they can't let you go. So why did they push Sagittarius away? King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Why did they push that? Wow. Okay. We have Judgment. They're very defensive about you placing judgment on them. So this is someone that left you before you could leave them, Sagittarius. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, energy. Aries is here along with Sagittarius. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius. The devil. That's them stuck in a toxic situation. That they knew you were going to place judgment upon. They knew you were going to tell them that they could free themselves from anything they want to free themselves from. So it's like they knew you were going to judge harshly. They knew that you have standards, really. They knew you were not going to accept any form of excuse in the long run. We also have this Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, the Emperor, Aries, Capricorn, Scorpio. How do you see them right now? Six of Wands. You see them as someone who likes attention. Okay, you see them as someone who has a lot of pride and ego. They operate from the pride and ego. Some of you Sagittarians are trying to have patience for a new beginning with this person, but it's like that pride and ego really gets in the way of this connection. That fool can be Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, energy. How they see you, the Knight of Cups. They daydream about a life with you. Someone gets caught in a fantasy throughout the day. Three of Pentacles, the fantasy involves working things out, but they know they've let you down. 
Queen of Cups, Five of Cups. How do they truly feel about Sagittarius right now? Heartbroken. They feel lonely. They feel lonely. They feel heartbroken. They feel like they ruined a good thing. The card says affairs of the heart. So it doesn't matter if they're not physically around you. This is, they're emotionally cheating on anyone else who comes into their life. They are emotionally cheating on that other person because their heart is with you. And they know it. Ace of Wands, they want a new beginning. What else do they want from Sagittarius? Ace of Wands. So they want a new beginning, like I said before. They want to start fresh. What are they going to do about that? What are their next actions? I want to get whatever it is. I want to get what they like about you, but I really want to see what their next actions are right now because they want a new beginning. What's their next actions? Uh, the emperor. Why the emperor? It's me that feels like they're going to stay in that pride and ego. Why the emperor? Seven of swords, trail, ten of cups. Someone's, okay, you're going to get a message from this person, but guys, they're in a relationship with somebody else. Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. This person could be older than you. They don't have to be. They're definitely living in their toxic ego energy in the month of November. So I do see someone reaching out, showing you how they feel. But in order to do this, they are going behind someone else's back with the Seven of Swords. They're going, they're stepping outside of a relationship. And I'm getting, they don't know how to feel. They want to make sure that you're sure about them before they leave someone else. They want to make sure that, uh, you know, they feel good about the relationship with you before they leave someone else. King of Swords, I do see communication. King of Cups, Six of Cups. This person is going to confess to you how they feel. The Star, they want to heal the connection. I see somebody opening up and being vulnerable. The only thing I don't like, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. The Emperor tells me they're stepping outside of a commitment to come tell you this. They want to make sure you feel the same way first before they leave someone else. What do they like about Sagittarius? What do they like about you? Five of Swords. I'm getting you're not a pushover. But it's telling me they like the conflict, they like the challenge, they like the chase. Queen of Wands. So this is someone, guys, that likes the, the passion that comes along with conflict. They like the passion that comes along with conflict, just so you know. What's Sagittarius' advice? Three of Wands. Freedom. Your advice is to keep looking ahead and focus on your future. Four of Cups. And just be aware. Your advice is to focus on your future and be aware. Use discernment. This person will be communicating with you, but don't ignore the truth about the situation. Ace 
and focus on your future and let this person work their stuff out. And I'm also getting with this Four of Cups, let this person know when they come in to communicate with you, let them know that you're aware of what they're doing. I would just be straight up with them as you're, yeah, look at this, the Queen of Swords. Let them know you have standards. I'm also getting, you don't reach out to them. Let, allow them to reach out to you. Stand in your power. Stand in your power. Let them know that you see exactly what is going on. Don't be afraid to set a boundary. Don't be afraid to force people to abide by the boundaries, which is not allowing anyone in your space that is disrespecting you. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this gave you some clarity. If it did, I appreciate you hitting that thumbs up button. And until next time, bye.